Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Baumgart, the CEO of Atomic Consulting, and I'm wearing a suit today because I'd like to speak to you about Mauritius. Okay, so Mauritius is one of the more popular offshore regions uh, for FX broker licensing, especially in the last few years. Uh, our team has noticed an uptick in requests. I would say part of this is due to regulatory changes in places like the United Kingdom with you know, Brexit fears. I'm filming this video at the end of 2020, so uh, you know, it's still yet to be determined what will happen there. But in the EU as a whole, uh, ESMA has brought about a lot of changes which are prompting many brokers to consider offshore licenses. And Mauritius happens to be one of the top destinations. Uh, finally, there were changes in Australia recently, so our team got an uptick in inquiries from there. So in terms of Mauritius, to provide a, a brief background, uh, this region used to be more open to basically any type of broker. And one could compare it to Vanuatu at the time. Uh, Vanuatu uh, really isn't as strict as other regulators. It's obviously still a, a very reputable jurisdiction and it's not easy to get this license. Nevertheless, at the time, Mauritius didn't have such strict criteria. Uh, however, uh, around five years ago, give or take some change, they decided to clean up uh, their own internal operations. Uh, many brokers were uh, basically kicked out and had their licenses revoked. And since then, uh, Mauritius has taken a more stringent stance. What this means for you is if you're interested in this license, you definitely want to get in touch with one of our consultants so we can give you some you know, more details and provide uh, an in-depth analysis about the region, uh, what you need to understand and look out for there. For this video though, I'm just gonna highlight the very, very basics. So with that in mind, the regulatory body that oversees FX uh, in Mauritius is the FSC or Financial Services Commission. So what makes Mauritius attractive, and I would say a region, uh, excuse me, a reason we get a lot of these inquiries is that this license offers market making permissions, which are obviously very popular. So with a lot of changes happening around the world that I mentioned, uh, having a regulatory body that allows for market making without a lot of the red tape and bureaucracy is attractive. In addition, uh, there's not really a set leverage restriction in law, but you generally don't want to offer more than 500 to 1. The same goes for Seychelles, which I also made a video about and you can check out. Uh, in either case, whether it's Seychelles or Mauritius, this combination of leverage and market making capa uh, capabilities make for an attractive license. So that's one reason we've received a lot of inquiries. What else do you need to know about Mauritius? The capital is actually one of the lowest out there as far as uh, you know, regulatory jurisdictions go. At the moment, it's only set at 33,000 USD, that's in dollar terms. Now, to get a license, just like most places, you do need an office. It can't just be a registered address, it has to be a physical office and some local staff. In terms of the specific requirements, once again, uh, you definitely wanna to talk to our team about it. Uh, we can help you so that you can uh, basically save as much money as possible uh, our team will help you to structure the office setup uh, to make it uh, acceptable to the Mauritius FSC, but cost effective for you as well. Uh, we have a lot of experience in this region. We've uh, gotten many licenses to date, so you know, I'm confident that our team will be able to help you every step of the way. And with that in mind, uh, you know, this is just a very basic overview of the region. 
Uh, if you would like to explore in more detail, uh, in the description section of this video, we've included our contact information. As mentioned, we've done several of these licenses before. We can even provide a professional reference if you'd you know, like to know that. Uh, our team has experience not just in Mauritius, but on all the global jurisdictions out there. Uh, Cyprus, uh, the UK, uh, other offshore places like Vanuatu as just a few examples. And finally, uh, via our Forex Marketplace, which is our online portal uh, for brokers that we have on sale, occasionally uh, we do run into offshore brokers. I will be the first to say that it's rare to find a broker in Mauritius for sale, but not out of the question. So if you'd like to learn more about that, you can also contact us. So I wish to thank you uh, for your time today. At the uh, bottom of the video is our contact information. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you like the video so that you can uh, you know, be kept informed of any other updates or changes in the market. So thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.